congratulations on your purchase of our Blickman Engineering top tier burner. We are confident you will find our burners superior to the competition since we designed them from the ground up with you, the home brewer, in mind. Our top tier burner outperforms the competition in both fuel efficiency and heating performance. You will also find that our burner is extremely quiet, a feature not found on any other burner. Plus, with our stainless steel frame, our burner will last a lifetime without rusting. In this video, I will show you how to assemble, light, and adjust your top tier burner, ensuring you use minimal fuel while achieving incredibly short boil times. You will have received the following parts with your top tier burner. One, burner assembly. One, adjustable gas regulator. Four, stainless pot retaining bars. Eight, six millimeter bolts and nuts. One, stainless air damper. One, spring one brass gas orifice fitting, and one air damper screw. First, install the orifice fitting, spring, and air damper onto the burner venturi. Make sure to install the spring between the orifice fitting and the air damper. The air damper goes directly against the burner venturi. It is not necessary to compress the spring completely. Tighten it just enough to keep the air damper flush with the burner venturi. Then, install the air damper screw, making sure to allow for fluid air damper movement. Next, install the gas regulator hose to the orifice fitting and tighten firmly. Finally, install the four pot retaining bars using the six millimeter nuts and bolts provided. Please make note of the location of the retaining bars and adjust accordingly to your kettle size. You will want to make sure you ignite and adjust the burner with the pot on top of it. You will also want to make sure that the pot is partially filled with water to prevent from damaging it. Please make sure that the variable pressure regulator is firmly attached to the propane tank and turn the knob fully counterclockwise to the off position. Now, turn the air damper so it is about halfway open. You may now open the valve on the propane tank. It's now time to light the burner. When lighting the burner, always make sure to use a long match or igniter. You will notice two ignition holes specifically designed for this purpose. Put the flame in the hole and then turn the regulator knob clockwise to allow for the flow of gas. The key to using the top tier burner is to make sure you dial in the flame just right. Without proper adjustment, you won't achieve optimum heating speed and efficiency. Correct flame adjustment will also prevent you from coating your pots with the black soot. Once you have the flame ignited, you will achieve optimum heat output by adjusting the regulator and air damper. By looking through the flame inspection hole, turn the air damper until the flame is slightly yellow. Then slowly turn it back until the flame turns pale blue and it's still touching the nozzles on the burner casting. If the flame lifts off of the nozzles or you hear a low grumbling from the flame, you will need to reduce the gas pressure or provide less air. When properly adjusted, you will barely be able to hear the flame, and you should see pale blue flames on each nozzle about three quarters to one inch high at max power. If the flames are noisy or bright blue, you have too much fuel and or air. Remember, you do not need to have the regulator fully open to achieve maximum power. As you increase the gas flow from the regulator, it may be necessary to readjust the air damper. Congratulations, you are now ready to start brewing with your Blickman top tier burner. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us and be sure to check out www.blickmanengineering.com for more great Blickman products. Have a great brew day.